Hey guys, Chef Hawks here again, and today we are talking about and looking at chocolate from both sides of the pond. So our opinion on chocolate back in merry old England is a little different to what it is in the United States. And there's a lot of history that's involved with where all of this came from in the first place. So when we're looking at 4,000 years ago, we're looking at a product that was generally consumed as a beverage, and it was for medicinal or ceremonial reasons but it certainly wasn't anything to do with what we look at today. So the Europeans got hold of this when the uh, Aztecs were conquered by the Spanish and when the Europeans in general were going out looking for, looking for fatherlands to investigate and they brought back chocolate and considered this to be something of a luxury, something of a, an amazing new thing to have, but it wasn't until they started to add a little sugar to it, maybe a little milk or cream to it, that all of a sudden that beverage turned from being something medicinal and kind of bitter to being something sweet and very pleasurable. So now when this came along, then by the 1900s, by the early 1900s, we're now looking at how do we form this together in our bar format, the kind of thing that we recognize today um, as a pleasurable chocolate of choice. So to now make it into a bar of chocolate, this is where you have to start making decisions on how the chemistry of it all works together. So over in Britain and in Europe, generally the choice was to actually use a powdered milk, a dried milk product, to go with our cocoa and as well with our cocoa butter. So we have our cocoa solids and our cocoa butter mixing with powdered milk, and then a little sweetness, we add some sugar to go along with it. Once we combine all of these together, then we can create something that we now know as a bar of chocolate. Milton Hershey, over in America, in Pennsylvania, he was a dairy farmer, and so he chose to want to put in milk in a liquid form. Now the problem is, when you have cocoa butter, cocoa butter is a fat product. When you're trying to add milk to that, well milk is a mostly water-based product. When you're trying to marry these two together, they just don't want to stick. Just any time like you have oil and water, any kind of fats and water products, they just don't generally want to mix unless if you can persuade them. So Milton Hershey actually started to condense the milk and add some sugar to the milk to create a sweetened condensed milk to create his product. And so this is where he was able to create something a little bit different, but it came out with a different taste profile. So when we come to compare between Hershey and Cadbury, which they're both kind of run-of-the-mill, mass-produced chocolates, there's nothing special about them. Um, unless it's in the eye of the beholder, obviously. But the fact is, these are all mass-produced products, but there's a definite difference between the two. So you have some people who will taste the Hershey chocolate, and they'll be compare, uh, complaining of a bile, vomit type of flavor, um, where it has a, a kind of a sour aftertaste to it. Um, but then you have other people who will describe the dairy milk chocolate from Cadbury's, and they'll be talking about how it has almost a kind of a fatty kind of a flavor to it, or a texture to it in your mouth. Very low acid, kind of a flabby almost type taste profile to it. But this is because of completely different manufacturing properties to them. So with our Hershey chocolate, because we are using condensed milk, so the byproduct of that is you have butyric acid, which has been produced in there. Butyric acid is actually something that uh, you actually create in your own gastrointestinal system as well. And so that can give us the reason for having that bile type flavor. Um, whereas where dairy milk, uh, where Cadbury is made with uh, powdered milk, that means you don't get that same kind of flavor profile that's coming out from there. So it really does come down to what you prefer, what you like. With the Hershey chocolate, you get a good snap. It actually has a, a really good temper to it where you get a good snap. Whereas with the dairy milk, it's a lot softer. Um, some people may say a richer product, a lot more fatty, but it just has a different kind of a texture to it altogether. Others may blame the whole taste profile on the fact that Europe as a whole has a higher quality standard when it comes to the requirements for cocoa mass um, and cocoa butter in its products. But the fact is, at the end of the day, it comes down to what you like. So let's take a look through some of these as we compare between our Hershey and milk chocolate and our dairy milk chocolate from Cadbury's. I also have a couple of other things to compare to. The Milky Way versus 
Britain's version, made by the same company called Mars, even though it's actually made by the Mars company. We also then have Three Musketeer versus a British Milky Way. And so these are, uh, these are supposed to be similar products. We're going to take a look through and see how these all compare to one another. First of all, we're going to take a look at our Three Musketeer from the United States and our Milky Way from the UK. When we take a look at the top here, they have a very similar lattice type of design that they have from the chocolate that drizzled from the top. Let's just do a cross section running straight across these. Now, obviously they're different sizes, but that's because we have different size bars. This is a multi-pack bar, whereas this is like a king size bar. But just for the sake of taking a look at these, you can actually see what they look like on our cross section. So with a very similar kind of a cross section of having just the solid piece of nougat or nougat on the inside there, but we can see a clear difference in coloration here as well. And they're wrapped with about the same kind of thickness of chocolate around the outside. Having tasted these both together, the Musketeer, the Three Musketeer from the United States definitely has a significantly more chocolate type of a flavor to it. Um, with the English Milky Way version, definitely having a more malty type of a flavor to it, but with that chocolate in the background there. Next up in our comparison here, we have the Milky Way bar, which is actually made by the Mars company. And then we have the Mars bar. This is made by the Mars company. So they're both very, very similar to one another, the Mars made in Britain and the Milky Way made in the United States. So let's take a look at the cross section. So when we take a look at both of these, we can see they're wrapped in chocolate around the outside. We have definitely a higher percentage here of our, uh, of our caramel running across the top on our Milky Way version from the United States. Whereas the British version definitely has a higher percentage of the chocolate nougat or nougat at the bottom there. So now having tasted both of these, you definitely get a little bit more of the chocolatey notes coming through the, from the Milky Way again. And with the Mars bar, I definitely get more malty notes coming through from that. I do definitely get more richness coming through from the Mars bar in the overall creaminess and texture of the, of the flavor. The chocolate, in fact, on both the Milky Way um, from uh, the United Kingdom uh, with the, this version over here, as well as the Mars bar from the United Kingdom, they both seem to have a chocolate that melts quicker in your mouth. Um, so it gives it a more velvety, rich kind of uh, smooth flavor and texture. Whereas the Milky Way from the United States um, and the Three Musketeer from the United States, that chocolate definitely seems to have that very similar kind of snap to it, the crunch to it, that doesn't melt quite so quickly. You have to kind of give it a little bit of time for it to go ahead and melt in your mouth while you're enjoying it. Just some differences between the two. I guess it comes down to what you prefer. Now on to the main event, I guess we could call it. So we have the Hershey milk chocolate and the dairy milk uh, milk chocolate made by Cadbury's. And just incidentally, this is genuine from England Cadbury's chocolate. This is not the product that's made under license by Hershey. Um, this one was brought back over from the United Kingdom. So it's the original and best. Um, and then, but then we have the United States favorite, the Hershey bar from Pennsylvania still going strong. So let's take a look at what we have here. You can actually see a real shine about the Hershey and you have a real definitive, uh, definitive edge to all of this. Whereas when you look at the Cadbury, it's much more rounded, it's definitely not as shiny in its kind of nature. And actually, when we go to Snap, it, it literally just almost just squeezes apart. It doesn't have that same Snap. Whereas if I get the Hershey, there's a definite snap there with that chocolate. 
Now after going through the taste test, this is the part that I struggle with most. I was brought up in Britain, I was brought up with dairy milk chocolate. So I really struggle to favor the Hershey chocolate. If you enjoy that snap, if you enjoy the fact that the Hershey chocolate always looks pristine as well, it doesn't melt in your pocket like Cadbury's would um, on your way home from buying it at the uh, candy store, then you have the Hershey chocolate that's perfect for you. I was just brought up um, enjoying the relatively low acid um, that we have in our dairy milk chocolate, the real rich, almost fatty, creamy kind of texture to it, and that really great aftertaste where it just lingers with that, with that wonderful richness, the cocoa in there, the milk in there, um, and it just lingers well. To me, the Hershey, I, I find it hard to get over that acidity, the butyric acid, um, which we get from that, um, from that uh, condensed milk that's developed that sourness over on there. I just don't like the acidity in this like I enjoy acidity in a lot of my foods. So I struggle with this, but I think I would have to um, aim over at the dairy milk. It's just what I was brought up with. But at the end of the day, if you love Hershey, then there's nothing wrong with this chocolate at all. Incidentally, on the taste test between the two, that texture again comes up in a big way. I have to put the Hershey in my mouth for several seconds before it will start to melt and start to break down. Whereas the dairy milk, literally within a second or so, I can feel it just melting down on my palate. Um, and so that, that also makes it more difficult because I can taste the dairy milk immediately, whereas the Hershey, it takes a few seconds for it to really start melting down before you can really taste it properly. Okay, and so we have a minute and 30 seconds now, and as you can see, when we look at these, the uh, Cadbury insignia there has already started to melt off. Our Hershey is just slightly dulled. And I can tell you I've got some uh, chocolate on my thumb over here with the Cadbury side, but uh, yeah, no, I'm still, still looking pretty clean over here. So it definitely goes to show how much quicker that dairy milk's going to melt down. You make your own choice. Which one do you love? Go for it. <laughs>